Hello all. Welcome to this ministry. My name is Sister Mildred. Welcome to this channel. Okay, so I'm here to make a video on something that I believe with my whole heart that will be beneficial to everyone, to the body of Christ, everyone as a whole um, who comes across this video. Oftentimes, you know, we've been told, because, um, you know, prophets, you know, they prophesy in part, right? We we don't know everything. Um, but, like, right now, the main thing that prophets um, are telling people is to prepare for famine, okay? Prepare for famine. Prepare for famine. This is what we are hearing that we need to prepare for famine. Me, personally, during my uh, secret time, uh, personal time with the Lord in the secret place, um, seeking the Lord, the Lord is impressing in my heart that it is not only for famine that we should be preparing for, okay? Um, and um, we're not living in a time where, like, back in old time in, in the old testament where the lord would uh, uh tell uh joseph or whomever to prepare your land for famine because you know the lord is judging the land he's not going to he's gonna stop um rain from coming and there will all your food will be dried up there won't be any food so he would tell them to prepare for famine right but now fast forward okay we are in year 2023 okay we are living in the times of Matthew 24 where famine is not the only thing that we should be preparing for okay um so please take your bibles out and please um turn to Matthew 24 and I'm going to just read verses 7 to 12 okay and we're going to focus and go in from there. Please, this video is very important. Um, it will help you spiritually going forward, okay? Um, so it says in Matthew 24, 7 to 12, it says, Nation, everyone knows this verse. Nation will go to war against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, earthquakes in many parts of the world. But all this is only the first of, of the birthing pains, okay, with more to come. Then you will be arrested, persecuted, and killed. You will be hated all over the world because you are my followers. And many will turn away from me and betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and will deceive many people. Sin will will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will grow cold all right so in this passage alone this verse alone famine was not the only thing mentioned okay um first thing the first line it mentioned war okay war so i'm going to mention all the things that we need to prepare for we need to prepare for war like i said it said famine it said earthquakes, so um, earthquakes, also wildfires, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, all uh, earthly disasters, okay? Because the Lord is using the weather. He's using the weather to judge um, this land as well. So um, we have prison we need to pre prepare for. We have death that we need to prepare for um, um, because not everybody is going to um, want to uh, die for Christ. Um, the predestined children of God need to start preparing for these things. Um, um, being hate, hated against, we, we got to prepare for that um, by praying and fasting daily um, to uh, die your flesh, kill your flesh so that you can be able to love like Christ. Um, 
the falling away from Christ is what, what is also mentioned. Okay, so a lot of people are going to fall away because um, times are going to get harder and the mark of the beast is going to come. And a lot of people are not going to want to follow Christ anymore. They're going to want to give in to the Antichrist. So we have to prepare for that as well. Um, it mentioned false prophets arising. <laughs> we already have that, child. Um, we got to prepare to not be deceived. So how do you prepare for that? You have to remain in uh, reading the word, um, getting closer to the Lord so that you can know um, right from wrong, know who's real, who's not. So that you could keep continue following his voice in this in this deceiving times because the false prophets are going to be more slicker they're going to be able to be able to deceive um more slicker so we have to be more um uh in tune with the word of god and also with his spirit um the increase of sin also was mentioned so we have to also prepare to not be part of that group, okay? Um, and also, the last thing I mentioned was many will grow cold. So you have to prepare yourself to not be part of that group. You want to love harder. You don't want to be part of that group of, of the many of, of growing cold. How do you prepare for all of these birthing pains, for all of these things that's... Um, actually happening now but it, as time progresses it's going to get worse and worse as the word of god says here in matthew 24 um so famine is not the only thing that we should be preparing for okay um i have my notes written down here give me one second so how do we prepare for all of these things we prepare in the secret place the secret to um, surviving and thriving um, the hard times ahead is the secret place. Secret place. Psalm 91 verse 1. It says, he who dwells, he who dwells, 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 the word dwell, dwell. You're literally living, you're dwelling, you're you're living, okay? He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Shadow. That's where you want to be. The shadow. The shadow of the Almighty. You want to be under his covering, okay? Um, if you keep, if you're one of those people who keep seeing the numbers 911, I'm not into numerology or anything like that, but if you keep seeing 911, around you it could be because abba could be calling you to give me one second abba could abba is calling you to the secret place okay because psalm 91 verse 1 equals to 911 psalm 91 verse 1 911 okay so seek the lord about why you're seeing 911 there could be something he could be calling you to the secret place he could be calling you to prayer to spend time with him if you're constantly seeing 911 on a daily basis it's probably because he's calling you to dwell in the secret place with him okay um abba wants us to constantly seek him seek him in the secret place so that he can cover us with his shadow from what's to come he will pass over like he did with the israelites back in the back then he will pass over your home and loved ones from the birthing pains and plagues seals and horses and bulls that's coming upon this earth he doesn't want us to rely on our own strength no he wants us to have childlike faith and lean on him for the times ahead all right um, I have a video speaking about uh, how to enter the secret place. So I will attach that video in the descri description box, okay? How to enter the secret place. And this is, this is where you want to be. Give me one second. Okay, so 
Now, if you turn back to Matthew 24 and you skim down to verse 16, it says, Then those in Judea must flee to the hills. A person out on the deck on a roof must not go down into the house to pack. A person out in the field must not return to even get a coat. How terrible it will be for pregnant women and for nursing mothers in those days. So if the Bible is telling us, if the Lord is saying for us to flee to the hills, then stocking up tons of food with mason jars. And um, I've seen a video uh, with this uh, pastor um, saying, giving advice to people to get a wood stove, okay? In case um, for this and that, like all of these things are good advice. They are. If we were only facing famine, but we're not only facing famine, we're facing tornadoes, floods, wildfires, earthquakes, um, any, many, many, mo. you know, this, the list goes on. We're facing so many things, um, during this time and going, it will be worse going forward. These are the birthing pains of Christ. Hallelujah. So God forbid you could have been stocking up so much food, right? And next, you know, a flood comes or an earthquake or a wildfire or a tornado or hurricane and destroys your property and you lose everything. So this is why I'm, I'm telling people, um, the Lord gave me this wisdom. I give all honor, all credit to the Most High, to um, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh. With me spending time in the secret place, he has led me to, <laughs> spoke to me that famine should be the least thing that we should be worrying about because we have other things that's going on. Um, okay. Um, okay. If anything, right, we should be preparing to run because the Bible says, again, to come out of Babylon because Babylon is, is being judged. Babylon is falling. So we shouldn't be getting comfortable here. We should not be, that's the, I see people in these last days buying houses. Listen, okay, whatever. Me, um, we shouldn't be getting comfortable in Babylon, America. Things are about to switch up real, real, real quick, real soon. Okay, um, again, Babylon is falling. We should be preparing ourselves spiritually, physically, always possible to actually run in case anything happens. Um, you know, get yourself a ready-to-go bag, right? Put all of your personal items in there, like. Um, personal items, non-perishable food, a first aid kit, you know, keep it handy, close by, ready for anything to happen, okay? This is what we should be doing. This is wisdom. This is what we should be, how should we be preparing um, along remaining in the secret place with the most high, all right? Because in case anything happens, you, the Lord will cover you. Okay. Ask him the Lord. One time the Lord, I was during prayer, um, the around Passover, cause I celebrated Passover this year with my family. And the Lord uh, told me to use the words Passover during prayer. Ask the Lord to pass over your homes, your loved ones during plagues and horses and seals and bulls. Okay. Um, he's saying to use the word Passover Pass the word Passover has so much significance in front of the Lord. Um, this is why he wants us to remember it for what he did for the Israelites back then. Those plagues are coming back. They're here. They're coming back. Okay. Um, he wants us to, he wants us to ask him in prayer to pass over us. Okay. Um, so, Regardless if your your property gets damaged or not, you know, the Lord will show grace. He will pass over you, okay? Um, again, 
it says in Matthew 24 that famines will be happening throughout parts of the world. So depending where you live, you know, you your land might go through famine. But is famine the only thing that we should be preparing for? No. Because there are other things happening at the same time as famine. Many birthing pains, okay? So our focus should not only be just stocking up food because any any given second, you can lose it all. Just like that. With a wildfire, hurricane, tornado, floods, the list goes on, okay? Um, even um, through civil war, when... <laughs> Um, people are angry. They can't um, buy food because of, of the mark of the beast or um, civil unrest and riots and chaotic going on that's going on politically, so on and so forth. You don't know what's about to happen here. And, you know, God forbid somebody sees you walking inside your, your house with a, a whole bunch of food and they come run up against you and try to steal your food or try to hurt you harm you okay you gotta be you gotta prepare for these things because these things are going to happen when people are hungry when people cannot feed their children they will do whatever to what it takes in order for them to get food to to sustain themselves okay you will you're going to see people go crazy um babylon is falling in every area economically um through the weather okay through everywhere every every aspect okay through all of the systems okay there's going to be this is how it's going to be read revelation 13 the antichrist is going to reveal itself and we are the, he is going to persecute the children of yah Okay, famine is not the only thing that we should be worrying about. Also, in prayer, um, in the secret place with the Most High, the, the Lord revealed to me personally that I am, my family and I will not be suffering um, during famine because in Psalm 27, it says that even during famine, he's speaking to the righteous children of God, which I believe that I am according to what the Lord revealed to me, um, that d even during famine, we will have more than enough. Even during famine, we will have more than enough. This is a time where we are entering into a time where the children of Yah, we will be seeing the Lord's hand work for us supernaturally, okay? We will be seeing miracles, on a daily basis because the time gets worse and worse when systems are closed down when we are not able to buy or sell uh, because the mark has arrived the, it is the lord who will be providing and uh, pr protecting and providing our needs during that time we will be seeing his hands supernaturally provide for us so we don't have to worry about these things he says to not depend on this, the government, to not depend on the systems of this world, to be set apart, to depend on him, to ride this thing out all the way to the end. He's going to be with us all the way to the end. He, you know, it's just because the Antichrist comes into, into place, that doesn't mean the Lord stops protecting and, and, and being there for us, okay? Even while being locked up, for him, he's going to still be there. Um, dying for him, he's going to be with you till the end. He will help you die for him. Hallelujah. He gave me the story of Stephen when they, in the Bible, um, uh, in the book of Acts, when they came and they stoned him to death right before he died. Um, uh, the, the, um, the Lord appeared in the, in the air and he, Stephen got distracted. Okay. He got distracted because he saw the Lord in, 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 in the air. And then next, you know, he died. Okay. So right. But right, even while you're about to die for him, if you're chosen to be, to, to die for him, he can send a, a distraction and you wouldn't even feel it. Okay. This is what the Lord is saying to prepare in the secret place for everything, anything 
for all the things that's about to happen to prepare spiritually in the secret place to make yourself strong for when these things do happen, the Lord, you will be under the shadow of the almighty. Okay. Throughout any circumstance, it's not only famine that we should be preparing for, but everything that's happening and it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. It doesn't matter where you move to. You can move from California to Florida to this, to that, and wherever else. In, um, you know, if I'm speaking to other nations right now, it doesn't matter where you move. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere. Where it's safe is in the secret place of the Most High. That is where you're safe. Okay? Stop doing things in your own strength and rely on the Lord. Ask Him to guide you and to tell you how to prepare your household um, for the times that we're living in, okay? Um, yeah, this is what I wanted to share with the body of Christ. I love you guys so much with the love of Christ, okay? Um, <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, for Christ we live. For Christ our flesh dies. Until next time. Shalom.